We originally started using Slack pretty early in 2014 uh, in, in our business and that was at a stage where the business had moved out of the startup phase where everybody was living and breathing and working in the same flat uh, and uh, communication was very easy into a two or three floor multiple office kind of like pr proper professional office. So we needed to come up with ways uh, of communicating in a very easy, very agile, very quick, asynchronous way. And that's what we implemented Slack. We then started international uh, expansion and that kind of required uh, or, or increased the need for that requirement. And then, you know, therefore Slack was exactly the right choice for us to go. I think we started a lot more asynchronous work and Slack is helping on that as well. So does the G Suite and you know other sharing documents, but Slack is uh, specifically good if you start having asynchronous discussion and you, you kind of chat away and you come to a conclusion, so decision-making processes. And we use Slack now that everybody was working 100% digitally anyway to do some automation. So using more Slack boards, integration with Jira and uh, these kind of things. So Slack improved the way we're doing business and influenced our company culture in different ways in different stages. It helped us to keep that startup kind of culture where people are having fun together for much longer than, you know, even when we were when we had grown out of the startup phase and we were actually growing up. Now today, Slack is helping us massively in that remote work setup where we're getting a lot more efficient because it's enabling us to do asynchronous work in a much better way. So asynchronous work at free now, maybe I just try and split it into two buckets. There's one thing where, you know, you need to have a discussion. It's more like a chat and you come to a conclusion, you can decide or you just keep each other updated. Now we use tools like Slack to do that a lot. The benefit of asynchronous work is I, for example, in times of lockdown, have to look after my kids in the afternoon. So I will be able to still participate in that discussion because I can do it at my own time. I can do it in the evening. And that's the big, big benefit uh, of this way of asynchronous work. Now, if we have bigger presentations or analysis or projects to run, then we work in maybe you can call it the Amazon style. Um, we build memos, we write a proper documentation, and then we cascade that as a pre-read. Everybody can read it at their own time. And then we only meet digitally to discuss questions and then come to a conclusion in that meeting. So really, you can probably say by being more asynchronous, we've become a little bit more um, efficient and faster. Free now has reinvented work big time in the last year and a half so that, you know, even we are surprised how much we've reinvented work. I think a few tips I could give is listen really. So first of all, listen really carefully to your employees and really make sure you don't only listen to anecdotal stuff, but that you listen to all your employees because there are, uh, you know, some, it, it can get a little bit uh, difficult to just please everybody and you need to balance that with your business needs as well. Secondly, be brave and risk some stuff. It's like us announcing that we're going remote work. All the companies who are looking into this know how difficult this is going to be from a social, social security perspective, income tax, corporate tax, permanent establishment, you know, all this stuff. We're not different to any other company. Risk something, try and try and make it work. And, you know, we're surprised with hard work how much of it we can uh, make work. And I also want to use that risk something and try something to be brave into going into that remote work because I still see certainly in Germany that I'm, the last number I heard is 80% of the businesses still do not believe in remote work and are actually not practicing it during the pandemic. And I'm thinking that's insane. It's like go try. Uh, you can trust your employees much, much more than you think and efficiency and effectiveness is actually not suffering from it. It's just coming with different challenges. And I think that would be my last tip is really look after the mental health of your employees, because that is going to become a topic, not just for free now as an employer, but for society. So we all need to look after that.